So now we're going to move on to freezing vegetables. And the first thing we've got to remember is that vegetables must be absolutely fresh because some of them, Brussels sprouts for instance, if they're left for a few days, can lose up to, well, 50% of their vitamin content. Now you remember that we said that enzymes had to be made inactive by heat. And we do this by blanching. This means that you plunge your vegetables in this special container here into boiling water. And when you plunge them into the water, do make sure that they are completely submerged. And the water can do its work onto the enzymes. Now the length of time for blanching does vary. So if I were you, I'd try and get hold of a book which will give you the various timings. Now, once our vegetables are blanched, obviously they're going to be very hot. And we don't want to put them straight into the freezer because otherwise we'd raise the temperature and that's the last thing we want to do. So, in order to cool them, we take them out of the metal container, because that's obviously very hot, and the quickest